so you've probably clicked on this review wondering who the hell is Mountain, right? Well, you weren't the only ones. We'd never heard of them before they reached out to us asking if we wanted to take a look at their new Makalu mouse. Mountain makes gaming peripherals specifically for PCs and already have one modular keyboard on the market called the Everest. The Mountain Makalu 67 gaming mouse has been shared with various members of the press and it's not quite ready for public release, but we've been lucky enough to look at one and Mountain, let me tell you, have a real contender on their hands. The Mountain Makalu 67 in terms of inputs keep it simple. On top are your standard left and right mouse clicks, as well as the scroll wheel which uses incremental step scrolling instead of a smooth motion. Now this makes it very easy to quickly make weapon selections in the heat of battle and stops you from over rotating the wheel. There are also two thumb buttons on the left hand side as well making this mouse unfortunately only suitable for right handed use. All buttons on the mouse use on switches which are actually covered for up to 50 million clicks. There's a subtle RGB effect that cycles around the outside of the scroll wheel and adjustable DPI button. Now I suppose it's it's Mountain's way of appealing to that gaming audience. Now it's relatively odd though that inside the app the lighting effect clearly shows it flowing from colour to colour smoothly but in reality it's a little stuttery like each LED inside of the mouse is turning to one colour to the next rather than creating that kind of flow or fade effect. Now it uses a unique rib cage design very similar to what we've seen with the Cooler Master MM710 or even the new mice coming from Glorious. This forms part of Mountain's way of keeping the mouse weights to an absolute minimum. The mouse, even though in the hand it still feels pretty bulky, it only weighs 67 grams, which is where they get the Makalu 67 name from. The outer shell is relatively smooth and has a grippy texture where it counts on the mouse buttons. It's also entirely made from plastic too, which is surprising. Now despite what you might think, the mountain Makalu 67 gaming mouse is actually quite rigid and I've tried putting my weight onto the actual rear hump of the mouse, trying to force my hand to leave any kind of indentation, but absolutely nothing. It looks very weak, but it's actually very structurally sound. On the left and right are cutouts, which don't follow the whole uniformity of the top and back of the mouse, but its grooves act as grip, so it doesn't slip around. Now, speaking of holding onto the mouse, the PCB, which can be clearly seen through the holes, is water resistant, giving it protection against sweat after long periods of gaming. I was able to hold the Makalu 67 in a palm grip quite comfortably as well, and the rest, uh, rest the center of my hand hand on the hump towards the back. But where the Mountain Makalu 67 gaming mouse is special is the fact that it's using a Pixar PM3370 sensor which is vastly more advanced compared to its predecessor the Pixar PM3389. The 3370 gives gamers a 1 to 2 millimeter lift off distance which can be fine tuned inside of the Basecamp software as well as the upgraded inches per second to 400 IPS and a 50% lower error rate. There's also a maximum DPI sensitivity of 19 thousand which is insane but i'm sure there's some gamers out there that prefer their dpis to be closer to the farther end of the scale for me though i tend to keep my mouse to 1200 max the 100 percent ptfe mouse feet themselves provide a very smooth glide across the mouse mat now i'm currently using a fanatic foam pad and i've had no issues with sticking at all the feet are also completely replaceable too and mountain even provide you with two extra feet now there's no doubt that the base cam driver is one of the simplest to operate on the gaming mouse market. The fact that the software is so, so nicely laid out and very easy to punch between each menu is literally a breath of fresh air and gamers can expect everything they want from an adjustable gaming mouse, like the ability to record macros or change the RGB effects. One key element of the Basecamp software is the ability to change the mouse's workings. Things like pinpoint accuracy on your DPI switch, or your polling rate, cursor sensitivity, which is especially useful for working on your desktop or even inside of MOBA titles. And one thing I have never seen before in a mouse's software, and that's a click speed, which changes the time it takes to send a double click command to the PC. And finally, you can change your button response time too. By default, it's set at two milliseconds, which I didn't change at all. I want to mention that I had a few issues with the software when I first installed it, 
and it just wouldn't open and I couldn't get the base cap window to actually show. But it changed. I'm not sure what happened. I provided my logs to Mountain themselves and one day over the weekend or over a weekend about a week ago, it just opened and appeared in my system tray. I'm sure any bugs or glitches will be ironed out by the time this hits the market retail though. Now, this is going to sound like a very bold statement when the gaming mouse market is so competitive and it almost feels like new mice are entering the market every week. But Mountain have absolutely smashed it with the Makalu 67. And what more, this is their first ever gaming mouse. It feels like Mountain have listened to common issues that spring up with competitors and have improved upon them. Now it will be really interesting to see once the leaders in the gaming industry start coming out with their Pixar 33.70 cents a mice. But still, it's an excellent start from a fairly unknown manufacturer. Thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Mountain Makalu 67 Gaming Mouse. If you enjoyed this review, then do hit that like button. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments down below if you would go for the Makalu 67 Gaming Mouse or what you even think of it. Do you like this very much skeleton rib cage design? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have time, go to this link here. This is the link to our twitch.tv Technoovo channel. Come and say hi. We play live games every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 8.30pm onwards in the UK. And if you want to ask a question about tech that we could possibly answer, or if you just want to come and say hi, come and have a chat, join in with the fun, then uh, come and join the conversation over on twitch.tv forward slash Technoovo. As I say, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.